This is how you use the brand new Canva module in Make to automate the creation of hundreds, if not thousands of unique images and text in ChatGPT that you can then automate and make to post on your Instagram or other social media platforms. You've probably seen these types of posts everywhere on places like Instagram because they work and they're a great complement to your social media strategy. In this video, I'll show you how to build it step by step so you can get rocking and rolling and get started. My name is Jack and my YouTube channel and my school community are all about three things. We're about the latest AI. We're about incredible automations, but most importantly, we're about the stuff that actually works. So if you haven't already, Grab that coffee and let's jump straight in. I'll start by showing exactly how this works. I'll give you a very simple automation for you to plug and play and get started with the new Canva module. So for example, let's say that we create 50 different unique quotes following this prompt for Alex Moses' latest book. We would download this into a CSV. This then comes through to Canva and I'll show you exactly how you do this step by step, by the way. And we use a feature called Bulk Create that gives us all these different images. So look, it's exact same. Everything else is hard coded, the image, the background, and we can just change the just change the text and we can figure anything we want to. If you want to change multiple text, it's super easy to do. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now, the cool thing about this new Canva API is the fact that now we can post to social media from Canva. So we actually don't need to download from Canva anymore and upload it. This is all done automatically with the brand new Canva API. So we start off with our tools module that creates an increment for each page. This is then exporting the design from Canva directly from our board create. We then upload it to Dropbox, make an API call to get the image, and then this image will be posted automatically to Instagram. Now, the reason why this API thing here is really cool with Canva is the fact that we can say, hey, run this scenario every day, every two days, every three days, so that once you create it in Canva, it will run automatically. With the Canva API, what a lot of us wanted to see was the ability to edit text within Canva. To do that, you need a developer account. So I'm gonna do a video on that in the future, covering what that might look like. For the purpose of the moment, this is something that you can get started with right now and start using your social media platforms literally today. So let's say, for example, you wanted to get 50 of these types of posts on Instagram. And let's say we wanted to do something with Alex and Mercy. A really cool website, by the way, is this website here called PDF Coffee, where you can get the PDF version of most books. For the purposes of this automation, I'm gonna show you how we could take 50 quotes from Alex Mosey's book and turn them into Instagram posts. So we can start by giving it the following prompt, which is this. Based on this PDF, quote 50 quotes in the below format. Innovate now, plan later. Sometimes you must invest, then investigate. Use 125 characters maximum. This is because of the text length on Canva. Make the quotes valuable, bite size, information to digest in short form content. Turn this into CSV for me to export. So what I do, I then just upload the book I wanted to analyze. And I've just uploaded the $100 million office book, which is a phenomenal book and exceptional. And if you want to do this for your own work, maybe you want to extract the pot, you know, the transcript of your podcast, maybe with your own books, this is an excellent way for any content you make to get it into bite-sized clips. So imagine that you do a podcast with a friend for three hours. We could use this just to draw out, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 clips. And again, this could also be automated. I just wanted to give you something really simple that you could just get started with to get used to the Canva API. I've got so many videos on the channel in the school community that go in depth to like the level 10 depth. This is just something really easy and fun that you can get with to get started. Uh, if you just want a quick, nice automation and to leverage what I think is quite a cool feature in Canva. So this is analyzing the PDF. Once it's done that, it's then gonna create 50 quotes for us. So it's gonna be stuff and well, let's check out the file and, and see for ourselves. So we download this file. In the file, we can see action is a cure for anxiety. Do this first, then improve. What else we got? Success in business is about practicing, practicing offers until you win, blah, blah, blah. 50 quotes, just like that. Perfect. So then guys, then we come over to Canva. You're gonna select on logo for the dimensions like so. We're gonna get rid of this and then just design this the way that you want. The one that I've seen working really well actually is with this kind of background, you see? So for example, if I just copy this as a, for instance, I'm gonna come back over, but just design this in any style that you want in any picture. Canva will also let you match the color of the background for consistency like that. So say this is the format that we like and that we want. All we would ever do, you guys, is you see in the bottom left here, bulk create. We just simply click on bulk create. We come down to upload data. We then select the file from upload data. And what it's identified in the CSV is quotes. If I had multiple headings, it would have quote, it could have author. So for instance, I could have Alex Hormozzi, Leila Hormozzi, Mr. Magoo Hormozzi, and we could basically change that every single post. But just to keep this simple, we're gonna do one variable field. So what, we click on this, we click on connect data, and we click on quotes. And now essentially what that's connected with is everything in the quote column with this piece of text. Now look, if I put continue here and look at this guys, this has pulled through all 50 quotes that we had. But I just say, hey, generate 50 designs and then the magic happens. And the magic is 
basically just brings every single thing that we want right here. You see 46, 47. Perfect. Now what we want to do is give this a wonderful name. So we'll call this Hormozy Quotes, 100 million offers and like that. Perfect. Now the next thing we need to do is create a scenario in Make. So let's head over to Make and build the scenario out. So the first thing you want to do guys to make sure that you post one at a time is use something called the increment function. So we click on tools and then you're going to search for increment. And essentially what this will do is it returns a value of one and then each time it runs, it just goes plus one. So we set a value, never, we don't need it for this one. And then we just click okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is add in the Canva module, the beautiful, brilliant Canva module. I must admit, one of the things that I wanted to see with this Canva module was the ability to edit in Canva. That doesn't seem like it's available unless you get on the make an API call. So I'm investigating that in the moment and I look forward to sharing some details on that when it's done. So in the Canva module, what do we need? We're going to export a design, then we're going to upload a file and then get an API call to get the URL for that file. And then essentially it's just going to post for you on autopilot. So look, we come over, export a design, and basically it's one click, opens a new browser, you log in, you're ready to go. Pick the folder ID for me. It's just the basics because I'm a savage. I don't have my Canva organized in folders yet. I know it's crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if I, if I drank less coffees, maybe I'd have more headspace to do it. Then we need to pick the design ID. So the design ID is basically what we called it. So we call this Hormozy Quotes 100 million offers. So let's just check if we can find that. Hormozy Quotes 100 million dollar offers. Awesome. Now export type, I want to put PNG. Last listener, export as a single image. You can leave that as no for the moment. Uh, height, you can just specify the size. So if I just say, just for argument's sake, 500, I think realistically you want about a thousand, a thousand for this. And then you put the pages. And then for pages, guys, all you do, look at this, right? We click on that and it's just the output from increment function. So the first time a scenario runs, it'll be one, then two, then three, and you know what the sequence looks like. So we click on that, we click okay. Ace. Now the next thing we want to do to post on Instagram or make what we need is a URL for the image. Add in the upload file to Dropbox. So we come out a little bit, click on Dropbox. Let's go for upload file like so. Wonderful. I'm going to pick choose a folder. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, but pick anyone you like. So I'll go for Magoo 3. And then for the file, we'll just put a file name here, which I would just say call it the increment function. So for every new project you have, so you have file one, file two, file three, file four, and now we've got the data and the data is just gonna be exactly what we've seen from Canva. Then we click, okay. Now the next thing you wanna do guys is the same thing again, Dropbox. I'm gonna put on here, make an API call, okay? Awesome. Now, what I want you to do is put in the ex these exact details. So look, I'm gonna come over, make an API call. I'll put this link in the description for you so you can just grab and go and get this and come over, type that in there, perfect. And then at the bottom, what we need to add in is something in particular for this particular thing, which is going to be this, which is path, path lower. Okay. So we come down again, I'll put it in the description for you. So you can just grab and go. And except for this time, it's not module 24. It actually is. Let me bring it over here so you can get a good look at it. And we'll just find path lower, which is right there. And then we click. Okay. And then finally, guys, let's go for Instagram. Uh, Instagram for business. And then we're just going to put here, create photo post like so. And this is going to load in the background. And then it says photo URL. And then the photo URL, well, what we need to do first to get the photo URL is just run the scenario one more time. So I'll link that. I'm going to run this uh, in particular. So let me just uh, come here and run once. That's export the design. Excellent. The tool incremental function, that should be like a three or something. And this has failed because it didn't have a proper file name. So what you need to do is i.png. All right, cool. So let's try that one one more time. Uh, and this should work perfectly this time. You know, pesky, look very particular about the PNGs. So we're just going to run this once so we can get the data to import into the Instagram for business. And then you'll be ready to rock and roll. Awesome. So I'm going to connect that together, Instagram for business. We then click on this and then we give it the photo URL. So what's the photo URL? I hear you saying. So what we need to do actually is delete this guy and bring it back in again. Uh, because sometimes if you run the module beforehand, it won't pre-populate the items. So again, click on create photo post, like so, photo URL. And you can see now, almost by magic, the data has repopulated. Awesome. And you're just going to click on link. And then for caption, for argument's sake, I'm just going to put ABC right here. Of course, we can automate that with loads of other beautiful fills and automations of things, which is excellent. So for example, what we could do is just add a chat GPT module to analyze it and then create a text post for us. And then just put that into the caption as well, just to give us some really good Instagram captions. And I'll show you how you do that in a second as a bit of a bonus. Then we click okay. 
And then guys, you've basically created the entire automation. So let's run it one more time and see if this works. So what we would do is we come down here to schedule settings, regular intervals, and we just say do it every day. And what that means is every day we'll get one post that comes out with our cool homozy quote. So I'm gonna hit run once, tools functions worked. What number is it? To number four. So basically this is now working guys. And if this worked correctly, image four should be what we now see on Instagram. And guys, once you've got 50, 60, 100, 500, 1000 of these, just let it go forever. And every day you'll get a brand new post. And ChatGPT's done a phenomenal job of capturing the essence of those quotes. This is something truly autopilot. And if I come over to Instagram, I can see grow or die business is either growing or shrinking. Guys, and that is literally the entire automation in a nutshell. And guys, to get a unique caption for this, all you do is come here like so. I'm gonna click on ChatGPT, uh, just type in vision, analyzes image vision, which is awesome. And then we've got a prompt, so then we just add the image. And again, it wants an image URL. So again, just add the same thing that we had in the last one, which is here. I'm gonna do a prompt. And for that, guys, I'm just gonna shit over to my school community. And I'm gonna grab the um, prompt sequence that we've got for making something on Instagram. So I'm gonna come down to agents, uh, let's have a look at our Instagram real quick. And then we can pull down the, all the code for that Instagram agent, which is excellent. And then we're going to copy all this beautiful text. We're going to come back over now to ChatGPT. I'm oh, sorry, excuse me, come back over to this. Now we've got our prompt. And then guys, just make sure that you select the model there in GPT 4.0. Come up to the top. Excellent. And then guys, what we're going to do is click OK, like so. And then what we're going to do is bring these in over here. We're going to click on this. And then for the caption, we're just going to put the result from ChatGPT. And then we click OK. And then we right click. And let's just call this one Vision Caption. OK, cool. With, of course, the eyes, because it's all about vision. OK, and then we're going to save it. And we'll call this one Canva Build Together, like so. Sweet. Awesome. Now we align it. And all we do, guys is we hit play and then we watch it happen magically in the background. So run once, tool increment functions worked, Canva's now exporting the design, which is excellent. Dropbox makes the API call, the vision's now creating the caption, and now it's getting added in Instagram for business. So when I load up Instagram now, I should see the brand new image with the caption, all completely done on autopilot from that one action at the beginning. And guys, if I load it up, I can see we've got the actual image and then we've got a caption for the Instagram. And guys, it is as simple as that. And you just made an AI automation with Canva. I know this video is just a little bit shorter, so let me know what you think down below on this kind of length. In any case, guys, have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video.